Hello everyone, welcome to Chair Side. The most sensitive and the most problematic area that we face in day-to-day -day practice is shade matching. We receive so many cases back to the lab where the shade matching was not perfect at the clinical level and obviously we have to repeat those cases. So let us go ahead and take a look at certain basic tips and tricks which will help us make our job for shade matching much easier. So let's take a minute to understand what shade taking is all about. There are basically three components of color which are the hue, chroma and the value. Hue is the actual color itself like red, brown, yellow etc. So the hue in the natural tooth actually comes from all the dentine which is why you will see that the cervical portions of the teeth are much darker as there is a lot of dentine there. Reddish brown, yellow white, grey and reddish grey are the hues that we can have in dentine. These actually correspond to the shade series A, B, C and D. When we talk about chroma, it's actually the intensity of the primary colour. The value on the other hand is the brightness or darkness of the tooth. Now coming to the type of shade guides available, the most commonly used shade guide is the Vita Classic. This in fact has been the dentist's best friend as far as shade taking is concerned. We also have the Vita 3D which is a value based shade guide. Because this is a value based shade guide, the Vita 3D Master has shade tabs numbered from 0 to 5. 0 being the brightest and 5 being the darkest. Another thing that I have observed is that there are just too many fake Vita shade guides that some local dealers sell at a very low cost. Please do not buy these at all. I always recommend buying the original Vita shade guides from authorized dealers only. What happens is that the fake shade guides have shade tabs which are not true in color which means that the A2 of this shade guide will not match the A2 porcelain that we use in the lab. Firstly, it's extremely important that we take the shade of the patient in natural daylight. It's also very crucial to keep the chair light off while taking the shade. The biggest mistake that we as dentists make while taking the shade is that we keep staring at the tooth with the shade guide for minutes and then we eventually decide that the shade is you guessed it right, A2. When we look at the tooth to decipher the shade for very long, our retina gets fatigued and it can no longer judge the shade correctly. So it's very important to be very brisk while taking the shade and do not spend more than a few seconds. Always try to rest your eyes when multiple shades are involved. Look at a neutral grey coloured object to rest your eyes and that is exactly the reason why the shade guide holders are always grey in colour. Another factor is that we always cold sterilise our shade tabs in a liquid medium like glutaraldehyde which causes them to get faded or worn out. So it's a very good habit to replace your shade tabs with new ones every 2-3 to three years. It's always important to determine the shade of the tooth before starting the procedure as the teeth tend to get desiccated during the course of treatment. Even the chair light which is constantly on throughout the process could contribute towards desiccation of the teeth. Always send good, high resolution photographs of the teeth with the shade tabs, preferably using a DSLR camera with a good macro lens and a flash. In fact, you can also have a black and white photo to confirm the value. Always choose the shade tab closest to the shade of the tooth. While taking a photograph with the shade tab, always ensure that the coating on the tab is clearly visible. You don't want your finger to obstruct the view or not have the tab number in the field at all. While matching the incisal edge, always hold the incisal aspect of the tab towards the incisal edge and not the other way around. When dealing with female patients, always ask them to remove the lipstick first before taking the shade. Whenever you deal with translucent materials like Emacs, the stump shade is extremely important. If you don't give the lab enough information about the stump, the discoloured stump will show through the crown. Take a picture of the stump along with the shade tab so that the technician has some additional piece of information. Another thing that I frequently see in the lab is that dentists just send a photo on WhatsApp without the shade tab and expect the technician to guess the shade. Please never do that, it is impossible to determine the shade without the reference of a shade tab. And that also brings me to the most important part of communication, the RX. Please fill the RX of your laboratory thoroughly to give as much information to the lab as possible. So just to summarize, shade matching is an extremely complex science which obviously we can make more predictable by following certain guidelines which we just discussed. I thank you all for watching this video. See you next week.